Welcome to Klagmauer TV. The news channel CNBC recently noted Lord Jacob Rothschild's recent $200 million bet. He is betting on the downfall of the crippled euro. Yet people like Rothschilds used to make the point that you must imitate the great if you want to invest your money safely. How smart that sounds. And since the French Revolution, we idiots have fallen for that age-old casino trick. Back then, in 1815, panic spread among money handlers because Nathan Meyer Rothschild suddenly unloaded his stock on the market. Everyone figured that the British must have lost the Battle of Waterloo. Otherwise, the great would never have suddenly unloaded their stocks. Overnight, there were panic sales throughout the whole country. What the smart imitators did not know was that Rothschild had abused his post-service monopoly. 24 hours before the government even knew about it, his own personal Rothschild courier, Rothworth, reported to him of the British victory over Napoleon. Yet he neither let the government nor the people know of this. Only after he had bought up untold quantities of stocks for practically a song did the news over Britain's victory over France seep through to the public. This made the value of his stocks skyrocket. Now Nathan Meyer Rothschild could sell for a profit of 20 to 1. Ah, so that's how it works. In just 17 years, he was able to multiply his startup capital 2,500 times. And the great constantly do the same. They also own most of the media corporations. One thing we should know about their bets, they may let their imitators win occasionally, but only as a casino owner does his clientele. In the end, it is always one and the same winner. Thank you for your attention.